Hey, Aaron, your chocolate ambassador here again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, we're talking about how to prep your chocolate for dipping. And we're gonna do that by tempering your chocolate. Now, tempering chocolate is a crucial step in making chocolate. Whether you're making your chocolate from scratch, you're getting chocolate ready to dip, maybe drizzle on popcorn, anything fun like that, you need to temper it. Because if you don't temper your chocolate, your final product's gonna look like this. Not too pretty, right? So if you temper your chocolate, then it's gonna look like this. See that nice shine? That's what you're going for. So what I'm doing here, this is tempering uh, on a table, table tempering. And it's a really fun way to temper your chocolate, but you need to have a giant granite slab or a marble slab. And so it's a little difficult if you don't have that at the ready. So for today's episode, I'm actually gonna toss this off to Steve. He's our head chocolatier, and he's gonna give you some tips on how to temper your chocolate at home. So uh, I'm gonna keep doing this, but Steve, go for it. Thank you, Aaron. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to temper chocolate at home using simple equipment. So you'll need a pot, fill the pot up with water, and once the water is boiled, take a bowl and put it on top of the pot, and that's where your chocolate's going to go. Basically, you've made your own double boiler. So today, we're going to be doing the two-thirds method. I'm going to use three pounds of chocolate. I have two pounds here, and one pound that's just chopped that we're going to seed our batch of melted chocolate with. So as your water starts to boil, your chocolate's gonna start melting out. Add that in there. Now, this is an ideal method uh, for melting chocolate because it'll uniformly melt and will, you'll avoid burning your chocolate. Uh, microwaves are not really recommended. As this melts out, we're going to use our one pound of chopped chocolate and just start gradually adding that chocolate in. As you go, keep stirring. Your chocolate will eventually melt out. Take it off the heat there. Stir it around. Now, this is when you want to start adding your chopped chocolate. Very important, you want to stir your chocolate while you're adding your one pound of chopped chocolate into your melted chocolate. Very gradually. A little bit at a time. Just keep stirring, adding and stirring. Stirring is very important because it's gonna, for one, encourage your chocolate to melt out, and two, encourage your chocolate to form the right crystalline structure in order for it to be in temper. Now once you have what you believe is tempered chocolate, you're gonna wanna test it. The best way to test your chocolate, to see if it's in temper, take a little parchment paper strip, give it a dip. Now this should set up within a minute. If this chocolate is in temper, it should set up fairly quickly. If it doesn't, you got to keep adding chocolate and keep stirring. And eventually, you're going to hit that magic temperature of 87 degrees. And just keep taking samples. And it should set up within a minute, 30 seconds to a minute, right in that range. Cool, thanks Steve. So, what he was doing was the easiest way to temper the chocolate at home. What I'm doing again is a table tempering method, which is essentially the same concept. He had the two thirds method, this is the one third. So I have my bucket of hot chocolate, I poured about a third of it on this cool table, and I'm spreading it out, and that's bringing the temperature of this chocolate down. You can see its thickness is starting to kind of clump up here. So, I take this now cooled chocolate, and I put it back in my bucket of hot chocolate. And then I take my spatula, which I don't have with me, but we'll make do. And you spread it all around, stir it, and it bring down the temperature of this whole bucket until it's in temper. Um, now, Steve is our head chocolatier, so he's been doing this for a long time, so you can just look at the bowl and know when it's in temper. I'm still a bit of a newbie, so I'm gonna use a the thermometer. But I'm also, like Steve did, I'm gonna use my parchment paper, put a little bit on there, and then check the temperature, and like Steve said, we're shooting for about 87 degrees. 88 degrees, we'll call it good. So now my chocolate is in temper and I'm ready to dip it. So, nice bowl, hazards of the job. Beautiful bowl of perfectly tempered chocolate. Now I'm sure all of you keep plates of fruit under your desk like I do. And now we are all set to dip Whatever you want. You can dip strawberries, it's kind of a classic thing. Tastes really good. My job's great. Um, 
cut up strawberries, fruits, the easy thing to do. It's a great thing to do. But I like to go a different route. It's like I have chocolate on my teeth, it's fine. And use cheese. Now I know cheese and chocolate sounds kind of like a weird pairing, um, but trust me, it's fantastic. It's so good. Um, if you think it's weird, stay tuned for our next episode. Where we're gonna talk about the best ways to pair cheese and chocolate together. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna sit here and stuff my face with fruit and cheese and chocolate and have a great time. You should go ahead and click like, subscribe, all that stuff. Again, leave comments, let us know what kind of videos you want us to make. We really wanna hear from you guys and make what you wanna see. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, thanks for watching. Oh boy. This is a take you're gonna use, isn't it?